I've mentioned before that I've lived in several countries throughout my life, and this has definitely influenced me in so many ways, not the least of which is the food I enjoy. I carry recipes and food traditions with me from everywhere I've lived, and today's recipe is something I picked up from my time in Saudi Arabia. Halagahua, which translates to coffee dessert, doesn't actually refer to a specific dessert, but rather to small, in many cases bite-sized desserts that are usually served with a deliciously bitter Arabic coffee. Many of these desserts have dates in them, but they can be made out of anything. They're usually simple and easy and something you have lying around for a quick snack or an unexpected guest. Today I chose this layered date and biscuit dessert. What I love about it is that you can make it as simple or as complex as you like. Either way, it's absolutely delicious. You can also make countless variations with it, changing up the spices and toppings. You could even completely dip it in chocolate. The possibilities are endless. Making this dessert couldn't be easier, and the best part is that you likely always have the ingredients in your pantry, ready to make whenever the craving hits. It's also a great Ramadan snack, as it's packed with protein and fiber, two things that make you feel fuller for longer. They're also traditional to eat and gift in Ramadan, so it's a perfect way to use up some extra dates you may have laying around by removing the pits and blitzing them in your food processor. You may need to add a little bit more butter than if you're using ready-made date paste. When rolling the date paste out, make sure you roll it as evenly as possible. Then simply line up your biscuits and fold over, making sure to roll everything tightly, but not too tight that you break the biscuits. I like mine to have three layers of biscuits, as I love the crunch, but making them too high will make them harder to cut and eat. If you'd like to use more than one spice, simply divide the date paste and mix in the different spices. I use my favorite toppings today, but feel free to use whatever you like or even leave them plain if you prefer. Whatever you top them with, I'm sure this dessert will go right to the top of your to-make list for many Ramadans to come.